Hi, in this screencast we're going to talk about floating HTML elements using CSS. Uh, floating may seem like a foreign concept for starters, but it will become very useful when you start using it to lay out your page without using any tables. Okay? I think it's easier to demonstrate different floating examples so you can grasp the concept of floating. So let me just open up my CSS folder. I've created two files, floating image and then floating div. Okay, float underscore image, float underscore div. And then we're going to be using one image inside this image folder, which is this plain image. Okay, and I'll see what we're going to do with it. Let's go back and let's look at this float image file inside our browser. And you see that I have a long paragraph with a couple paragraphs that's wrapping around this image, right? And uh, that's uh, that's the effect that you can create using float, CSS float. Okay? Basically, it's an image that's being float float to the left. Okay? So the the paragraph that comes after this image will be wrapping around this image up until where the image ends and then it's going to continue uh, with the new line and then uh, wrap around to the very beginning of the line okay and so does the rest of the paragraph we'll just start at the uh, beginning of the line so you'll see that uh, the paragraph is more like hugging the image okay so let's look at let's minimize this let's Look at the source of it. Open it with top style. Okay. So as you can see, uh, the HTML file has a style sheet with one class only, which is floating. And the rules that you set is float. Let me use the cursor. So it's float, right? And then colon and then uh, you can either use left or right so let me take this out let me show you the options so we have left right or none none is the default value okay so let's do left and you can see that uh, inside the body we have a long line of gibberish right this is the top paragraph that you saw right okay and then we have a couple line breaks and then com coming after that is the image okay which is inside the image folder uh, plain.jpg okay that's the file name a uh, width of the image 350 height 213 and then i assign the class floating to this image okay and then after the image i have a couple more paragraphs with uh, line breaks okay that's how you create uh, the floating effect okay and let's just do uh, let's just see what we get if we take this class out okay save it minimize it bring back Firefox refresh you see that the line starts here because it's right after the image and then it keeps going and then it, it just goes uh, on and on but this you see this big blank space that's because it's not uh, floated the image wasn't floated to the left okay so we want it if you want that effect to have the text uh, wrapping around an image you can do float okay and let's uh, undo control Z okay all right and we actually want this floating and uh, let's just do something else let's say we have a div Okay, you can do it to a div too. And then uh, let's delete this. Okay. This time we want to float right. Okay. And instead of an image, uh, I have I'm going to YouTube. Okay. And we have this video. Copy. Minimize. Bring it back here. Paste it. Right. So we have a flash video, and then I'm going to assign floating class to this div, okay? 
and it should give me the same effect. Uh, and instead, this time it's going to float right. Okay, minimize it. Bring back Firefox. This tab, which is this page. This time, instead of image, it's going to be a flash video, and it's going to float right. Let's see. Perfect. Exactly what we want, right? So sometimes you'll see uh, a, somebody writing a blog, and then at the right side they have a video, right? This is how you achieve this effect. All right. And now I'm going to show you a simple way to uh, lay out your HTML page using just CSS floating. Okay. Let me just show you. Right now I have three divs. Okay, one is the navigation div, one is the main content div, and then one is the right sidebar div. They're all inside a div, and I'll show you right now uh, the source. Okay, so let's look down here first. I have three divs, right? First div, which is the navigation menu div with uh, some links inside, right? Just uh, empty links. And then the second div is the main content div. And then the third div is the right sidebar div. Okay, so I'm going to create a three column uh, page, okay, that has the left sidebar, right? That's the main menu. And then the center piece, which is usually the content. And then the right sidebar, which is usually some more text, some more links. Uh, or advertising at the right side of the page. Okay, let's go back top to the style sheet. I have created three styles. Okay, simple style. One is for the menu, one is for the content, one is for the right sidebar. And they all have a common uh, uh, floating rule, which is float left, float left, float left, right? And then I made the width, uh, I gave it specific width of uh, the div and uh, one thing you have to be cautious about when you're doing floating is make sure the the you specify a width to the element that you want to float okay and that's pretty important so let's assign the the classes to these three divs okay and top style allows me to just choose if I have my mouse on the div like that. Okay, save it, minimize it, bring back tops uh, Firefox, refresh. You'll see that this div, which is the first div, is being floated to the left, and that's why it's first in line. The second div, main content, is floated to the left of the navigation menu, right, which had lined up next to it, right. And then the right sidebar also was floated left, so it lined up after this main content div. So that's how you get a three column web page effect. Okay, this is without using any table structures. So let me bring back this. So you'll see I only use three divs and created three classes, and that's it. Okay, and that's it for this float uh, screencast. Thank you.